In this tutorial, we'll show you how to use the buffer feature in the Arc Toolbox to create a buffer around a linear object. So in here, we have a linear object, which is the interstates in Washington. We want to create a buffer around that, so a certain distance on either side of that object with rounded corners at the ends, or however you specified. So here we will go into Arc Toolbox, and we will be under Proximity and Buffer. So if I double click that, and we're going to put in the uh, interstates and then for linear unit we're going to go 10 miles on either side there and this shows that it's uh, side is full uh, round that's the rounded end type and these are the default features there we'll click OK and here we go here is the um, buffer so you can see that it creates a polygon file that does indeed, indeed have a uh, 10 foot uh, 10 mile distance on either side of the, the line. And so you can see that some of this extends outside of the boundary of Washington. And so if I wanted to go in and create just the part that's in Washington, I would have to go back to the uh, extract and go to clip. And we'll input the, the new buffer here. And then the clip feature we want to clip is for the states. So I will go ahead and do that. And you can see that this has created a buffer region that's just within the state, like so. So that's how you use the uh, buffer feature as well as the clip feature in order to get a section of that's just within a certain boundary. One other thing we'd like to show you in this tutorial is how to select only portions of a uh, shapefile to be buffered. So in the interstate clip here, if I right click and open the attribute table, you can see that there's multiple portions, multiple highways that are used in the shapefile. We have I-90, 205, all the way down to uh, 5 here. And so we have different values and they're all spread out within there. Now if we wanted to buffer uh, certain ones in there, we could go in and select by hitting, hitting shift in here. I can select certain ones. I can use control. Um, while hitting control and select multiple ones like this. And so I can go through and select only the portions that I want to have buffered. And this can be used in various tools, whether it's clipping or buffering. Now, the other thing that I want to look at is uh, doing it, selecting by attributes. I can either go through and select the data individually, which is sometimes tedious if there's a lot of data, or I can go in here and I'm going to select name, and then I'm going to hit equals, and I'm going to click this here this is going to show the unique values that are there I'm looking specifically for five so I've just created a conditional statement that's going to look for under name what's equal to a interstate five and we'll hit apply there and you can see here that I've selected only the I5 ones here and if I hit uh, I go ahead and close this you'll see that in the corridor window here everything is selected at I5 now I'm going to go back to buffer under proximity and do the same thing that we did before and with a linear unit of 10 and we'll put in miles and we'll hit mm -hmm. OK and if we close it out just see is sure enough we do have a buffer just in that region there and so that shows you how to select only specific ones to do there for that